What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we're back with another episode of Poker Hands. Today, we're going to be taking a look over some of the sickest river cards in party poker events. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. So, usually people with beanies have hair, I find. It so it's, it's, it is otherwise. unusual, it's, it's unusual, it's an unusual style. But this that that sweater is swagged out. I mean, I, when they get when they get another shot on that, I mean that's probably like a, you know, it's, I'm <laughs> not even gonna guess because I'll probably embarrass myself. <laughs> you know, that might be over a thousand. Who the hell knows these days? Mr. Mr. Gray's defended. Pollen. Look at this. Yeah, Look at cool. the arms. That is beautiful. The front looks kind of like the Sachi yes, but. The arms look just nice. Meanwhile, Roberto does flop the middle pair backdoor hearts. Was the ace high oh, cut shot to Broadway? Keep forgetting <laughs> Tom keeps forgetting because yeah, such I a grinder is grinding in the booth. Yeah. This is it. So he's keeping one eye on his tables, one eye on our table. It's a, uh, you know, it's a blessing and a curse. Playing on an iPhone yeah. 5, if anyone wants to know, on the old software, <laughs> so on the old uh, iOS, so it's very slow. What are we in a satellite? Two satellites. Oh, heart on a turn. Good news for Roberto. Picks up a flush draw. Um, must have bet the flop. Small. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, it looks right. We got 10 bigs in the pot, so that makes sense. Yeah. I would keep going. With this hand, to be honest, this is a good barreling hand. Right, and we've seen Roberto as the kind of guy who maybe m might over overfold some situations as well, right? So it's e even keener spot to <coughs> to be bluffing. Ace king seems too strong to have as a bluff, ten. and ace turn is a bit below that, and I think this is a really good bluff. And Roberto's once more. in a very nice calling spot. When you call the flop, you're, you're pretty unhappy. Like, because you know Future Streets is going to be so difficult. You, you really want this flush draw just for backup. You feel a lot better. So 110,000 was called by Roberto. And the King of Hearts on the river. Could we choose a better card? Mm. Broadway for Muster. Flush for Roberto. Check raise incoming. I reckon Muster will find the fold. Right. It, obviously, uh, it's quite plausible. Roberto can <laughs> have a flush by, by the check. Queen or Jack of hearts. Queen or Jack X of check. hearts. <laughs> you have the flush. I don't think the check's too likely. No, he's going to bet uh, 240k. 290? 290. Going even bigger. 90. So we'll do a little Hollywooding before moving his stack in here. We fill Mr. with less than 900 behind. And Roberto using a time bank. Yeah, this wise. This is wise. This is a this is a worthy spot for a time bank chip. Two nineteen, he bet. Okay, I thought he bet two nine zero. I could have sworn he says two nine zero. I thought he said two nine zero as well. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto, look, reaching for chips less than all in. This may well get called. Yeah, I don't think you can shove here. Because if you put put yourself in your opponent's shoes, like. It, how many hands can they call with? Well, They're going to be hating their life with everything that isn't a flush. Getting more than three to one. It kind of has the best possible bluff catching combo other than having maybe a heart with it or something. But Right, I guess having the queen or jack of hearts in your hand would be the best. What better hands can you have than this that are worse than a flush? Nothing. So, But I think you'll find the fold just because... 
seems like a pretty wild bluff to be making. He's made the call. No, whoa, that was that was a buck there. I gotta go and like. Three he or does four make minutes. the call. Yeah, he's kind of got the best hand he can call cool. with, I think. And Roberto then. Roberto's another big got pop enough him. of a rep to have some bluffs still. Some guys you might kind of find an easy forward against. Right, if, Ro if Roberto just had the queen or jack of hearts, then maybe he, he decides decide to turn to that into a bluff, right? That'd I don't be a good know candidate. if queen of hearts was available. I think it might have been. Uh, no, it was queen jack. had to do was qualify this way, and I would have had a free roll for an extra 100 grand. It's unbelievable. It really is like one of the greatest promotions in the history of poker, I think. Well, the thing about it that's great is that it doesn't even matter if they meet the guarantee or not. That Rob's going to do his 100000 anyway. <laughs> it was like he was trying to find out a way he was insured to lose money. Oh, he's well capable of that. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, talk about giving the players a break. I mean, you know, we're not here just to beat Rob's drum, but, I mean, I mean, this is genuine. Like, I mean, I... He is giving the players a break. He's giving them a hell of a break. And I, I've been around a long time, and I want to say that the poker players don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Not the ones we know. <laughs> well, as the Party Poker Live president, John Duthie, says, this is a tour for the players. And is he right? These kind of whopping guarantees, the opportunity for the little guy to get in these tournaments, the added money, the prize money, it's just massive. It's just incredible. And if you're a poker player, believe me, it does open your eyes and you say, hey, you know, you want to support those people, and rightfully so. Yeah, if you don't, you're nuts. That was a bit of an action card on a dry board. Yeah, that was, it looked like it was just going to peter out, and now everybody's got a little something. Go on, Jacob. Why call when you can raise? That's the man I know. It's a nice question to ask Jeremy, isn't it? It's a great hand to raise with right here. The semi-bluff, as we call it. If you get called, you've got outs to win the pot, but... I mean, Jacob easily could have... could have. Look, uh, look at this. Well, I would say Jacob easily could be slow playing a queen here, I think, right? I mean, it's not... Jeez. Jeremy's got an opinion. Mm. Oh, come a deuce. I want to, I want to see a big bluff. <laughs> come a deuce. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's this is just gonna be, cruel. Well, this, that's just cruel. This is going to be tapioca pudding for Jeremy. <laughs> Absolutely. Seriously. It's going to be very difficult for him not to go for his whole stack what here. If Jeremy can get out of this, we never hear a Houdini again. I think the one thing that Jacob has not done wrong is he has not bet too small. Uh, he, he, he went stack size. Looked, it looked to me like 100 million, yeah. Uh, 115 million. I mean, it's a, it's. God, I mean, the heart. Is, it's an automatic call. I mean, there's yeah, nothing you can do no about brainer. it. You have to call here. It was the Joker. The best card for Jacob, the worst card for Jeremy. There it was, a 10 on the river. That wasn't the 10 of hearts where the flush was up there as well. There's his rail. There's a bunch of local guys. He scored two goals. He scored two goals. So. Score, but I just wanted to know how he played. No, well, the first it's been awful, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been poor, yeah. But there it the is. Now. Yeah, he doesn't look very good. I think he had that break last week. So Beautiful. Fold, exposed, four and ten. You're not playing now? Of hearts. That would have been one of my best. Sam hearts. finds aces. Face, 1,200. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing the rounds at the moment. <laughs> Everyone's getting a go. Newey, Shaq, this time. Let's trick it. Fold. Come on, newey has got the kind of hand you want to have against aces. Queen, jack of spades. Fold. Yeah. It's one of the highest EV hands yeah. there is against yeah. aces, right? Uh, Net 80, ace, I call it. It's too hard for it. Six, seven suit is the best run, right? Is that I, mean, right? I feel like just, you know, seven, three off, oh, so like you can get out of it. Is oh, really yeah, best yeah, yeah, that makes some sense. Wow, this Hello? could be the one. Ace, nine, three, two. Seven. And it just What's goes check, check. Wait, How's that? What's going on here? Sam checks back aces here. Oh, he checked it back, huh? Okay. Yeah, pool yeah. bets. Now does Sam raise? I mean, it's the plan here. They're very deep. I would be inclined to raise here. Interesting. Sam just flats. Very. I guess Sam's hoping to boat up on the river and. He's hoping for the five of spades. Oh my oh, god. Oh, there it is. 
<laughs> oh my god. That's you called it. Well, the five of spades. He's called it. The five of spades rips off. Well, five of spades. That was Sam's plan all along. This Honestly, is a disaster who, card for Newey. Who's shuffling these decks? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, 4,000 at the bet on the end. Sam, what a beautiful spot. How much do I want to raise with top boat when I can never have top boat? Because I've checked back the flop. Acting job. Uh, yeah, he's doing quite a good job of uh, acting. Un 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 you know, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> I think it needs to take a little bit longer here. Sixteen thousand, the bet. I can't see Paul Thor in this, especially uh, as he's losing against Sam. Made a huge fall with a full house in the the, the big big game we had here early in the year. Not an exact action, but bottom house follows the Sam's higher house. It's a slightly different situation. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense for Sam to have a set here on the flop, does it? Check. Why would he raise pre and check back this flop? So mm. He's repping aces only. Maybe ace five. All right. Could also have king high king spades. High, the king high spades is possible, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, yeah. Well, it's 12 to win 26. against Michael when he was crazy Mike fold. he folds wow what a getaway there that is quite the fold oh, Sanker won much bigger pot there if he'd bet the flop <laughs> yeah that's very results orientated yeah but that's what I do <laughs> we can see the cards we have results orientated Come I mean on. if you're not getting paid off by Paul finds another big hand. Ace, Queen of Diamonds this time. Race. 500. Makes Fold. it 500 Fold. to play. Fold. Cool. Sorry, you looked out. <laughs> Bit dry. Just Michael to defend, and he will do so, of course, with Ace, three of hearts. And well, King 10, 6, 2 hearts, 1 diamond. Michael from the nut flush draw. Paul has a gut shot and backdoor flush draw. Paul does bet. 4 into 11.50. Easy call for Michael with a side flush draw. And wow, what a turn card for Paul. The Jack of Diamonds gives him the nuts and a royal flush draw. Michael sitting there with the nut heart draw. Michael, of course, does have a queen to chop the pot. Correct. 1100 the bet this time. I could have had a, a, a cheeky eyebrow, like in Teenage. Nah, no, I couldn't. Oh. <sighs> Michael calls once Island. more. So we head to this river. Island. Island. Any red card will make things interesting. <laughs> and it is the king of hearts. Michael improves to the nut flush. Pull with Broadway. Surely it still has to bet. And Ludo dipped out for a second there, but come back to see it. Quite the board here, Ludo. 
I don't want to say on the screen. Aye, aye. You just did. You can't go back on it. Ball is, of course, paired. Oh, he's a good lad. He's going for this one now. You know you're making it worse, nice yeah. Boy, so we've had Paul raise this one up, Ludo. Michael called from the big and check wow. called two streets. Rounded. We've arrived oh, on this I river. I can't wait to see him. I'm going to ask him for a beer. Michael yeah, had to be careful here. Can he raise, given that... Yeah, for sure he can raise, yeah. Paul's oh, about all three. Just not out of generosity. Just, uh, what sizing is he going to go? You're saying that. Yeah. Nice. I guess he's going <laughs> small and... That's an, easy call. To a three That's an easy call for, for, for yeah, Paul with the sizing, one obviously. One. <laughs> <laughs> somehow lost this pot. You did somehow lose this pot, despite having the nuts and a raw flush draw on the turn. Yeah, I've lost the pot, yeah. Oh, because you had the raw flush draw on the turn. Oh, my God. Yeah. So uh, what a turn card. Beautiful turn card. They both had the nut flush draw. <laughs> but Michael. It was Michael. Well, he was bluffing me. The answer is no. This is just was how he I? dresses on a Wednesday. Always oh, has. No, he did, of course, that. lose a bet. <laughs> and he explained <laughs> the, uh, the details of the bet earlier. Those who weren't listening. Well, it turns out he. Kind of <laughs> it sounds to me like Trickett lost on technicality and somehow oh, got away with this. most definitely lost. Yeah, yeah. Trickett welched on a bet. I'm not saying he's not to be trusted, but, but he's, he's, not to on be trusted. <laughs> he's not to be trusted on clothing bets, let's just say. Yeah, so last longer bet. Well, we'll Trickett won by not entering the tournament. Nice. Yeah. Yanni limps under the gun. He's ten of hearts. Again, no favour limping strategies, but it's OK as long as you have some sort of Balancing strategy, and well, Chris is going to raise in off. position. Limp. I don't think he realised there has been a limp when he's. I mean, if people don't know you, the limp from under the gun is frequently not re-raised because you know it is the kind of thing that people do with aces. Yeah, looking at the size, I don't, uh, Chris sort of looked up after you made the. But I don't think he realised he had any limp. But of course, he would still play this hand. With that information, makes Anthony's situation a little different because he has ace-queen suited if and he's now playing against a raise after a limp but where the raiser didn't realize there had been a limp so the ranges are different uh -huh. but he's still going to worry about the under-the-guns range so I think he does the best thing here and just flat court with ace-queen suited a fine yeah. hand to no. get multi way. Roberto, ace-four suited, of course bus. he's also in and now Yanni in a discount with ace-ten of hearts so oh, all sorts of things going on here four very playable hands what oh, chance yeah. of the case ace, Andy? Um, what the chance? Uh, even um, money, either it comes or it doesn't. Like yeah. Correct answer. Like, that's why I go. <laughs> business. I like it. Like four? Four deuces and Let's have a, an interesting flop here. Queen 5 3. Uh, we have three suited aces, so of course it comes the other suit. Anthony, though, with top pair and the backdoor spade draw and the button. Everything looking good for him. Roberto going to come out firing with a gut shot. Never slows down. It's hard to see how he lost the last longer bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, therefore, your conclusion that he always seems to be wearing these outfits makes sense as well. Yeah. How many? 44. Chris, seen enough of Roberto to know nines is worth a call here. And Anthony with an interesting spot here, whether to raise or call. They're pretty deep, so I lean towards a call. Keep some of those weaker hands in. He knows the bad cards are diamonds. In this case, it doesn't have to be. But not too many bad cards aside from a diamond. <coughs> Eight of spades is pretty gin. Gives him a nut flush draw. Roberto, I mean, come on, Roberto. You've got to slow down eventually. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is uh, <laughs> being a, you know, I, I appreciate he's going as aggressive as possible, but this is this is burning money now. Uh, the only thing is they are very deep, so so a re-raise here means that Anthony's committing his entire stack. Oh, Anthony's never raising. He's got top pair, top yeah. kicker, and the not flush draw. He's going to let Roberto dig now his own grave. Let's see if, if uh, Roberto can hit a mouse. Oh yes, my he's hit the mouse. God. He's hit the mouse. There that's is how well. That's called the baby bounce, boys. There is no justice for Anthony as for Roberto. Now the question is, how much will Roberto bet? I mean, that's, he's hit the rat, the duck. No, the rat's the three. The mouse or the duck? I mean, I'm getting confused. What's a five other than a five? A five. It's a five. Oh, okay, there's no, there's no name for this. Okay. So now he's made gin. Value bet, clear value bet. He's going make big. Absolute, no, he's not that big. He, it's he's pretty big. He's going pot, over pot, 980. No, he's not. He's not. He's not going to hit. He's going he about has. four or five hundred. No, you see those those pink chips, those red chips. They're five hundreds, Andy. I know you probably got that far on tournament for a while. But How much does he bet? Oh, he's oh he's got a red chip. Yeah, I didn't red see chips that. in Sorry. play. 
and no. it usually out before those come into play. Now, personally, I think this is a mistake. He's bet too much, but let's see. I think it's getting a lot harder for Anthony now, but the diamonds have missed. Well, I think what hands does Roberto fire three with flank from the small? Fives and threes, obviously prime candidates. Missed diamonds, there are a lot of. Of course, he could have a hand like four six or ace four with diamond draws that got there. May have a hand like six seven of spades that kind of stabbed the flop, picked up extra equity. I mean, if he's called in this, he's, he's he does call. I think this is a good tournament. call against Roberto. You just oh. look at his. You gotta feel sad. Look at that face, three outed. Look it. Roberto getting max value on the river. And I, I think this is a cool fan thing. You just see what we've seen from Roberto. He's he's playing a little bit above the clouds today. Uh. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for the best poker videos on YouTube. Make sure to also check out our previous video if you missed it, and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see on the next Fury TV. Queen.